Well, a tiny island in Shetland is set to become the UK's first spaceport for vertical rocket launches. The licence granted by a Saxford by the civil or to Saxford by the Civil Aviation Authority could see up to 30 launches each year. The tiny Scottish island of Unst, now front and centre of the global space industry. For the first time in history, a spaceport on British soil has been given the all clear for vertical rocket launches. If somebody had told me uh, that I'd be talking to you about building a spaceport on Shetland now, <laughs> I'd say, can I have something of what you're drinking? Bought by Frank Strang with initial plans for an eco-tourism attraction nearly 20 years ago, he says they now have the first orbital launch licence in Western Europe. It puts the UK right at the head of the European space race and it shows the world that the UK is, is very serious about the space economy. Um, it's about inward investment. Um, all of our clients are international. Um, uh, it's about the supply chain, it's about education, it's huge, it's massive. And uh, the next year is going to be um, pretty pivotal in, in where the UK stands in the global space industry. Earlier this year, the first ever satellite mission launched from the UK ended in failure in Cornwall. It appears that Launcher 1 has suffered an anomaly. That was a horizontal launch. The Shetland site's been given a licence by the Civil Aviation Authority for vertical ones and for 30 a year. This launch activity is really important, but only one part of the, uh, the UK's uh, sort of space uh, heritage and uh, capability. Um, the UK's got a fantastic track record over many decades um, of designing and manufacturing uh, satellites. Concerns have been raised by wildlife campaigners over the potential impact here, but those behind the spaceport say there are restrictions on launches. Meanwhile, liftoff will be next year, with the first satellites launched, propelling the future of the UK's space economy into orbit. Adele Robinson, Sky News.